Hey guys, welcome back. This is Professor Hank. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Python using idle. Specifically, we're going to go through uh, these five things and maybe a little bit more in no particular order. Uh, I'm going to show you how to, or what to download and install to get you started using Python. Uh, I'm going to show you the difference between interactive and script mode. I'm going to show you what the shell looks like. Uh, I'm going to show you what a source code file looks like, which is also known as a Python script. And I'm going to show you how to run your program using idle and also running it from the command line. Right. So what's idle? Idle is an IDE, an integrated development environment, uh, a set of programs that is um, used to make developing programs more easy right? or, or easier. So, you know, all different types of languages have different IDEs, C++, Java, you know, and Python. So idle is the one that ships with Python. So that's why I'm going to show you that in this video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this. So what you want to do is you'll want to go to www.python.org, right, python.org, take you to the landing page there, and then you can mouse over on downloads and your browser should auto detect which operating system that you're using. Um, if not, you can go, uh, along the left hand side here and pick uh, by clicking on uh, the appropriate link but um, I'm using Windows so it detected that I'm using Windows just fine and indicates uh, Python 3.8.3 at least as of the creation of this video is the latest version so I'm going to go ahead and uh, install that so I'll just click on that icon right that'll bring up the you know the download option so I'll go ahead and save that uh, to my desktop, so more convenient. Um, hit save, and I already downloaded it previously. I'll just overwrite it and do it again just to show you. Um, hit control J in Firefox to get your download history. I mean, you can go over to your desktop, do it that way too, whichever's convenient for you. Run the installer, okay? And um, the, by default, this thing, the, the install that you download is the 32-bit version. There's a 64-bit version you can install too um, from that downloads menu. But just keep this simple. I'll go ahead with the 32. Go ahead and do the 32-bit version. Uh, if you want to be able to run Python from the command line, then you'll want to click this box here. It says Add Python 3.8 to Path. I'm going to do that, and then I'll leave everything else the default. Click on Install now. Okay, and that's going to go ahead and install everything that you need to run your Python programs. Now, Python is platform independent, so code that you write on a Mac computer is going to run on a Windows computer, um, and vice versa. So, you know, don't worry about that. Okay, uh, the uh, Python code itself is completely portable. The uh, diff the, the Python interpreter that you've installed on different machines will, will take care of that for you. Right, so setup was successful, awesome. So go ahead and close the window for the installer. Now, to run idle, all right, to go ahead and get started, you can go to your start menu, locate uh, Python 3.8. Right, I had previous versions already installed, but this is what we just did, 3.8. And so now you'll see that you got some different options down here got your help file, you know, all the different manuals. Um, you've got some additional documentation for all the different modules. That's basically the library for Python. And then you've got these two options right here. One is for idle and one is to run the uh, Python shell. Now, if I click on idle, it's going to take a second to load up. Okay. So cool. So what this is, is this is the IDE, right? So uh, this is where you generally will do most of your work. Um, now you can also run the shell, right? So go down here, click on that, and you'll see something looks kind of like a command prompt, okay? Now if you take a look at that, okay, you can start it that way, um, but I could also drop to the command line, if you know how to do this, feel comfortable with this, and I can get basically the same thing by just typing Python, right? See, they look basically the same, okay, because they are the same, okay? Now, um, another thing you can do is from within the idle window, you can go to run, and you can click on Python shell. 
And guess what? You get something that looks the exact same, right? Because they all are the same, okay? And so if you start typing in your um, commands at one of these prompts, what you're doing is, is you're using Python in interactive mode. So for example, the Python shell, which I launched from within idle, I could type print, use the built-in print function, hello, right, hit enter, and you'll see the Python interpreter respond, right? So it prints out hello. I could go over to, um, you know, these other two options that I had where I ran the shell from, you know, the start menu, I could say print hello, right? Get the same response. Um, and then from the command line, when I just typed Python, right? From my DOS prompt, I can do the same thing, print hello, right? So you can run Python code this way. Um, you could even type in some expressions, get a response. When you're doing that, what you're doing is, is you're sending commands directly to the interpreter, right? This is interactive mode. And this is very useful if you just want to try something out. You're like, oh, well, how, you know, how do I, um, how do I print something? Well, I'll, I'll go ahead and you know, print hi. Oh, oh yeah, that's how print works. Or I want to assign, um, you know, nine to a variable. Okay, cool. Uh, and then I want to print out the contents of that variable. Oh, okay. Right. So this is a quick way to try things out, to experiment a little bit, to learn the language. Um, and when you just want to just try something out, right? That's that's your interactive mode. Now, the vast majority of time, you're not going to be writing your, your programs this way, right? Because the thing is, as soon as you close those windows, as soon as you close that shell, right? Whether you did it from um, idle or command line or whatever, you know, everything that you typed, it's gone. So that's, that's no good, right? So it's interactive mode, great if you're just going to try something out real quick. Right? But for anything long term, if you want to be able to run that code over and over and over, or you want to run that program over and over and over again, then what you have to do is you have to run your programs in script mode, right? And so to do that, what you do is um, you, you, you can use idle. That's what that's what we got right here, right? That's what I ran, started running a few, uh, you know, a couple minutes ago. And you can type all your commands in the idle window. And it, basically what you have is, is you've got a basic old text editor, okay? So idle consists of a text editor program, a debugger program, and that shell, which I just showed you. Um, but you can also type all of your code out in a plain old text editor, like Notepad, for example, um, and then run your code in script mode that way. So if I was to type, you know, print hello, there's the same command that I just that I just did in interactive mode, right? Now I want to run this. Maybe I'll do a couple different print statements: print hello, print goodbye, right? Um, print hello world the world, right? maybe create a variable here, print out the contents of that variable. Right now, what I have here, what I've created, right? I'll go ahead and save this. File, save as, and I'll just put it on my desktop for safekeeping. And I'll name this, um, you know, just hello. And what I'm gonna be creating is uh, what's known as a source code file or in Python lingo, a script, right? So this is a Python script or Python source code file. Now, the names of these files, you name them wherever you want, but by convention, you add a .py extension to the end of the file. So you can see along the top here that everything got updated and, and the file hello.py is on my desktop and the Hank directory and the user directory on my C drive. So what I just did is I, have a source code file now. Hello.py is my source code file or also known as my Python script. Okay, so now whenever I want all of this code to execute, I can just go up here to run and I can say run module or I can just type F5, hit the F5 key, right? And so now what you'll see is you'll see the shell is going to appear and you'll see that the uh, results of my code uh, show up, right? There's the output. Okay, now if I want to go back and run it again, well, let's say that I decided that I was going to close um, idle, right? Let's say that I just closed everything up. Well, if I want to run that program again, 
I can do it a couple different ways. I can go back to my Python directory here and then reopen idle. And then I can say, well, let's file uh, recent files, grab it from the desktop, low.py, and I just reloaded it. There's my script, there's my source code file, which I can then run again, right? Um, that's one way I can do it. If I wanted to make any kinds of changes, maybe I don't want to say hello world, or maybe I want to, at the very end, say goodbye world, right? Do that, save it. I could hit control S, or I could just go up here and say save. Now, when I run it by hitting F5, you can see there's the changes, right? So I'm running my script in script mode. I'm executing my source code in script mode that way. Okay, um, another way I can do this is I could go back to my command prompt, and if you're comfortable doing this, you can certainly do it. And I know that I saved hello.py on my desktop. So I'll change directory my desktop. Okay, and so there is all of my Python files, or my Python source code files, my Python scripts that I have on my desktop. And one of those was hello.py. Now, if I want to run that program, I can type Python. That is me invoking the Python interpreter. And then I provide the name of the Python script that I want to execute in script mode. Hit enter. And so now you can see there's my output, right? Didn't have to run the shell. Didn't have to open idle. I can just run it straight away, okay, um, from the command line. Right, so, you know, that's example, you know, multiple examples of how you can run your Python program in script mode. Now, if you're a student of mine, this is what you're going to turn in. You're going to turn in this source code file, this Python script, right? So, each one of these lines here is a statement that makes up my Python program. And they are all stored inside of my source code file, which in Python is known as a script, right? So this is my source code file, which is known as a Python script. And um, I saved it on my desktop, right? So if you are a student of mine, then you want to turn in your homework. Let's say this was a homework assignment. Then you'd go find that on your desktop. Right, so we'll go ahead and grab it. Okay, so you can see that, let's scroll down here, find it. There it is, hello.py. That would be what you turn in. And this is just a plain old text file. You could open this up with um, any kind of plain old text editor that you want to. So let's say that I just wanted to view it with Notepad. Okay, fine, there it is, right? So. You can create them in a whole bunch of different ways and you can edit them, view them in all kinds of different ways. But in this example, for this video, I used idle, okay? So again, if you're a student of mine, this is what you turn in, hello.py, right? The script file, the source code file. Now, if I run this, okay, you can see that the shell pops open if I run it from idle and shows you what the output is. Okay, this is the output. This is the result of, you know, running that program in script mode. Okay, um, and from here, I could continue on and do some things in interactive mode if I wanted to, right? Um, but this is by interacting with the, with the interpreter directly through the shell. That's, again, interactive mode. By typing up all of your source code, all of your statements, and saving it in a text file and then running that file, running that script, that is script mode, right? Okay, so that's gonna bring this video to a close. If you felt that the video was useful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. And if you thought that the video sucked, well, then you've got that thumbs down button as an option as well. If you'd like to see more videos if you're interested in more content from the channel feel free to hit that subscribe button and as usual if you're a student of mine and you have further questions feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours okay thanks for watching 
and we'll see you next time.